It is very good to see you all here this morning. All right, friends. All right, friends. Folks online for joining us. Good to have you with us. Later on, it just keeps going. I just talk to you a lot. Awesome. So, um, anything uh, that we'd like to include? It is very good to see you all here this morning. You know, Bob Barker passed away, um, Jimmy Buffett well, passed away. Do we need to have a prayer on last for joining us? Could that be with us too? <laughs> or so, later on, any other kind of recording you're watching it later? That's awesome. But uh, any, so, any um, anything uh, that we'd like to include in our prayers? We were joking over here in the corner that you know, Bob Barker passed yeah, away, Jimmy yeah, Buffett yeah, passed yeah, away. Do we need to put a lot in church? Yeah, that's it. Said, you know. <laughs> So yeah, when I graduated in any other, I think we were 17, and all the classes were like in their 40s. But, uh, <laughs> any, any prayer requests? <laughs> yeah, right. Which would have been what? 2003? Two? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. we were like, yeah, that's a big prayer request. Yeah. Yeah. Take us for a while, right? You guys yeah. are much louder. <laughs> yeah, when I graduated in 99, I think we were 17. So yeah, 30 kids. Like yeah, <laughs> pray that the numbers keep going up. I know yeah. we got a pretty good yeah. thing going here at Faith. Yeah. 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 Sending kids yeah. on. Yeah. So yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. We're talking like it up out class. there, guys. Yeah. We always lost all the spirit competitions because oh, right. you guys are much louder. That's just sheer numbers. Anything else? So yeah, 30 kids. Yeah, let's pray. Praise God. Thank you for this day and this time together. We got a pretty good thing going here at Faith. Sending kids on. So yeah. Talking it up, I'll show you guys. And Keep uh, open our, our hearts and our, our minds to, to know you as you want to be known and to know your Anything word else? Your Lord, we also. Very good. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for this day and this time together, and especially, especially to spend time in your word. For the blessings as we study it today, fill our hearts with your love and your joy. Last 10 years, open our thankful hearts and our minds to know you as you want to be known, to know your word in our churches and our communities. Lord, we also thank you. Christ centered leaders are often the start people, and especially we to live for you, thank you for their lives, and to provide your 30 freshmen. Thank for that opportunity, Lord, to do this here at last. Last ten years, so we're thankful for that. You know, uh, that Margie and I were talking to um, to be able to church serve because the, uh, people in our churches and our communities. You forget with, uh, sometimes that education when people that attend, that attend our school, people, right? They, they go to our school, to they graduate, their lives, and to whether or not they lives. become members here at Faith or whatever, to do uh, here they here. go out into the community. They go and they live their lives. You know, and uh, they're out there. Margie, so and I had to get a safe deposit box because the other day, so I went to Key Bank, which you forget. Sometimes that when people, people attend our school, they open their door to me to go to our school. Even though I'm a member of BECU, whether or not they you know, become members here at Faith or whatever, they, 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 they go out they into the community. They go and they live there. Reasonable lives. rates, too. And they're out there. Plugger. So I had to get a safe um, deposit. But the fellow who was helping the other day said I went to Key Bank, which opens doors. Here, they opened their door to me, even though I'm a member of BECU. Back in the day. You know, they didn't um, hold their noses and, and, oh, you're a wonderful party, memories you know, they of being here at Faith. So thank and, you, uh, um, you know, we Reasonable to rates, too. Celebrate to our common Christian faith, faith together. Um, but the fellow who there, was helping do everything up, his wife, human went to school. Here. Banking at Faith. <laughs> you know, pretty you average day. New York, if you know the New um, York family. But you could, uh, uh, from you back know, in the day. Um, um, and uh, wonderful memories of uh, being here the, at Faith the, and uh, uh, the legacy you know, we were able to uh, just celebrate our common Christian solid faith Christian together training. in that moment there. Um, in that just family has played a human in their life. Banking, <laughs> you know, pretty average. Yeah, Margie thing. knows, knows um, the family, but you could, uh, you know, you could see. Right. Um, so, um, so it's how the, the, uh, um, the you legacy. Know, yes, we're um, getting kids ready for high school, getting ready solid for Christian training, uh, college, all that stuff. Um, and that family has played off. Uh, to use our guy given talents. Right. Um, but to bring up our you know, the family, the family day, uh, to let that be right. the treasure. That so, um, so it's just a reminder. You just be with him for uh, eternity and then you know, share that. Yes, day. we're getting kids ready for high school, getting ready for really helps us college, all that stuff. Very important. important Christian education. Um, to use our God-given talents. Um, the other thing, um, uh, since bring Christ into our life, I think we're saying this day. Thank you for saying um, it. Uh, it Remind me something the else. Treasure about this, the foundation of uh, our life, so that they can. So I'm teaching senior religion, and, and the first share that faith kind of topic that we go over go. is um, that really um, helps us see. The how do we get the bio? Where's the bio? How do they get them together? And how do we know that the books? The other thing, since God wants us to talk about the development of the canon, remind me something else. And um, 
So you can, I'm um, teaching senior religion, and well, we've got pretty good historical kind of records for really the chain of custody. Is, so like you um, have the apostles. Yeah, how did we get the Bible? You've got people Bible, that are associated, associated with together, those and how do we know that the books of the Bible? So if you go down to Egypt, you, you God wants us to city of Alexandria. Talk about development of the very canon, important all that center of and, Christianity um, in that first and second century. You can um, tradition has that. So you've got pretty good historical records for like chain of custody. So like you have the apostles all these people, and then you've got people that are associated with and they start a school. They so if you go down to Alexandria, you go to the eastern school, city of Alexandria, which school, school is a very important term like that, center. It's a school. It's Christian education, and they're, they're teaching people about and God's word. Tradition has it that St. Mark went and down there um, year after year, and they're cranking out, baptizing all these people that know right? Jesus, and, and, and they start a, a lot school. of those people they start the Alexandria on to become a catechetical um, school. It has a fun important. Term there, it's a school. Um, it's Christian like, education. A lot of those people would, would go on to become bishops or at the church school. there in Alexandria. And so you see the importance um, year of after year. They're cranking even out in the ancient world people where it provides future and church leaders. A lot of those people the Christians would go on to become and that really um, helped us important the church um, to like defend a lot of itself would go on to become bishops the, of the, the initial false teachings. So you see the importance of Christian um, education, Trinitarian even in the ages that plague the church, where it provided years, future um, church as well leaders as the, for the Christian the debates on in the person of Christ. And then man, true that God. really well, helped us in the first couple Christian hundred church years. To the Christian church and defend itself. You, know, you have these like scariest that you have the good scholarship teachings that are good biblically minded people, um, the Trinitarian controversies that plague the church for a couple so hundred again, years. The importance of Christian um, as well as the, 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 the debates what a neat on the person of Christ, the true man, true God. All, all that right. had to get sorted out within the first couple hundred years. years of the Christian, Christian church. And, <laughs> you know, you have these. We are turning our attention to good scholarship. Mark chapter one, verse twenty-one. That were studying the scriptures. I'm sorry, that was about that. 29 to 34. Christian education. 29 to 34. What a neat heritage that we get to be a part of. All right. There. It's not that 21 Christian education. We are turning our attention today to Mark chapter 1, verses 21. 29 to 34. Someone would be 29 to 34. I'd like to read those verses for us. Not that 21 to see through our questions here. 29 to 34. Do you want to read that? Four. Mr. Jensen, thank you. And the left uh, why do you not be? Some of them with John. So kind of. Somebody would like to read those verses for us. And then we'll see through our, our questions. He went to her. Took her by the hand. 29 to 34. Do you want to read them? Mr. Jensen, thank you. The left the synagogue and with James and John to the him, all who were in Andrew. Simon's mother in law was telling the other at the sick with the healed of many people who were slain. They buried Jesus about and drove out into her, her, took her by the hand, and out aloud and raised her up. But he never left her, and she began to serve them. And then you see that the footnote there below knew that he was the Christ. To so him, all who were sick. All right, so we got the words there in front of you. Um, all right, uh, I, I read this a little bit so we can take notes and help us as we go. Um, so we read, you heard that already? Uh, so again, take some time at your tables. What stands out to you about this? What's interesting? What strikes you? What questions might you have? All right, so we just discussed for a few minutes at your table. Um, all right, uh, I, I read. Did this a little bit so we could take notes. That might help us as we go. Um, you, read, you heard that already? Um, so again, take some time at your tables. What stands out to you about this? What's interesting? What strikes you? What questions might you have? Just discuss for a few minutes at your table.
when um, Paul is defending. Uh, uh, getting so yes, we do know that um, that Peter was he's also talking about. Um, there was, evidently, yeah. there was some criticism about some of the apostles. Evidently, yeah, evidently, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. says, "What is our you know?" Is, is Peter the only one who can bring right. his spouse? What stands out about so he's, this he's particular section of scripture? Uh, so yes, we do know that. Uh, that he's the great God. God. He's he's with with yeah. yeah, lots of people. Yeah. Yeah. Evidently, yeah. yeah, evidently, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just going to jot some notes down because that'll kind of help us as we think. All right. What stands out about this particular section of scripture? Anybody else? Well, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. He's the great God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Again, that's just like last week we saw that too, right? Yeah. Jesus' power over demons. Okay. I mean, very evident. I'm just going to jot some notes down. There's no competition here, right? Well, anything else that stands out to you? The word had God. Jesus power got out people. Uh, it doesn't say what okay. yeah. he was following. So, again, just like last week, we saw that too, right? Up in Jesus' Tukurna. power over demons. But it's I mean, said very there's evident. The there's no, there's no competition the here, right? So people well, have heard about this. So we're here at this incident that got out. Right. Uh, uh, it doesn't wow. say whether it was <laughs> followed. Okay, yeah, so the news is spreading, the fame of Jesus is getting out there. But it said that it yeah. spread quickly yeah. through the region of Galilee. So yeah, right, so, so right, here, right. yeah, so, um, right, you know, lots of people are coming, and, and Jesus serves them all. Okay, yeah, so news is spreading, the fame of Jesus is getting yeah. out there, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that'll that'll come up a couple times. Yeah, you know, where right. you can so, tell, oh, man, it's a long day. Right, right. Yeah. So um, you know, lots of people are coming, and and Jesus serves them all. Um, pretty well immediately. So he goes baptized yeah, wilderness and then he begins yeah. to do ministry up and in the north. So that'll come as up we kind of track times, the ministry you know, of Jesus, you can tell a lot of what day. Jesus did was up in the Jesus. northern part. That, you know, he, he would do a lot of ministry up there. Um, um, so pretty well, that, that'll he play in much later, later because when, when, when Jesus to arrives at Jerusalem, remember he rides so in on the donkey. As we kind of track um, the ministry the people, of Jesus, really, a are, lot of what Jesus did was up in the north of Jerusalem. To Jerusalem. Yeah, they're not residents of Jerusalem. Who do a lot of ministry? Who up there make all the fuss um, about Jesus coming in? So and that, that'll all play in much later because you know, when, here we go, when Jesus right? all this stuff we've been arrives about, at Jerusalem, Galilee, you know, hey, here he comes. Um, and um, the people really that have that, that have kind of accounts for some of the confusion too to in Jerusalem, Jerusalem right? because the Jerusalem. people of Jerusalem are like, who? What's going on? Make all the fuss. You know, well, this is about Jesus, Jesus is coming in, right? They celebrate yeah. it. Oh, so, he's coming oh, finally to kick out the Romans. So it seems so like, go, right? all this stuff even though Jesus is going to definitely Galilee, show up, hey, here he in comes. Jerusalem from time and, to time um, in his ministry. Most that notably, kind of accounts for um, some of the confusion when we were doing our Old in Jerusalem. Uh, study of the <laughs> history we talked like, about what's going um, on the feast of you know, uh, Tabernacles of Nazareth, right? And you know, it's at so that, that feast heard about we think that so it seems it like that feast where Jesus even though Jesus is going to definitely show you know, up, whoever yeah, follows me springs of water will flow up from within. Most notably, so he does show up in our Old Testament. Uh, study on Leviticus. We talked uh, a lot about of preaching tours up um, in that feast of uh, tabernacles or booths, and fairly early. In and yep. it's at that so feast we think that well, no, it is at that feast where Jesus, you know, shows up and says, you know, whoever follows me springs of water will flow right. up from within. Right. Right. Uh, so he does show up at Jerusalem. Throughout okay, his good. But yeah, that's interesting. A lot of preaching tours so up in that northern part. Not all 12 are called yet. Yeah. And fairly early in his ministry. Yep. Oh, so it makes the survey. Uh, and yet there's plenty of ministry work to be done, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because they're not all. Yeah. Right. So it's really uh, James and John and Simon. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So not all 12 are called yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yet there's plenty yeah, of ministry work to be done. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And yeah. Um, the mother-in-law healed. Boom, just like that. I mean, I remember a few times as a kid, you know, wow. sick. Yeah. And one day, and the next day, boom, you're right back at it. But that, <laughs> right. that, that ability seems to fade as we go there. For healing and recovery, too. Yeah, right. No kidding, right? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, like, and, and that is... Boom, just like that, that is, I mean, I, I remember what's remarkable times as a kid, that's, you know, you're sitting 
that's different. One day, and the next right. day, boom, you you're right back like, at it. Let's but say that, well, right. <laughs> that, that ability seems to fade <laughs> as we go well, well, through. But for her to go from yeah, fever right. to no yeah. kidding, right? Boom. Yeah, yeah. 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 No kidding. Yeah. And we see and that, that is and other miracles too. That is, right? I mean, um, what's what remarkable about Peter, that? Because that's, um, I mean, Peter and James, I think, are at the temple and they heal the guy. Let's say he can't walk, and she springs up on his feet and leaps. Everyone would have expected it. Wow, what happened there? But for her to go from fever to other hands here, yeah. Perfect health. And we see that kind of in other we'll miracles say, too. Uh, no, right? I mean, um, the one I'm thinking of is Peter. Um, Peter and James, I think, are at the temple and they heal the guy that's begging he can't walk. And boom, he springs up on his feet and flies and jumps. That's excited about everything. Oh, that's interesting. What happened? Okay. Yeah. Um, Stop your other hands here. Yeah. I'm make a side question. I assume you didn't use a fully sandwich at Oh, sorry. Uh, so, I mean, at our table. Oh, it does seem that way. Yeah, so like, you know, it's interesting, you know, interesting the, 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 the events in the set. previous verses, they so lead the synagogue. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you know, you can't do people are going to stay home because that's the, the custom, right? Sabbath. After you go to the synagogue, then it's home, so and then sunsets. Now I mean, the it does seem that way. Yeah, if you like, you know. Yeah, the, the, uh, the events in sure. uh, so the previous verses, they lead the synagogue. Oh, yeah, the, you guys are very familiar with the show The Chosen, which is kind of is a yeah. portrayal of the life of Jesus. So people are going to stay home because that's the, the custom, right? Okay. After you go to the synagogue, then it's home, and then the sun sets, and now the next day it's begun. Right? So, yeah. Interesting. Um, sure. So we're just yeah, typical the, that they're, they're Oh yeah, the, you guys are right familiar with the show The Chosen, which kind of is a portrayal of the life of Jesus. So how accurate was it when Nicodemus and uh, Jesus oh, right. uh, get the name out of Mary, which is something we never really learned about, and I looked it up. Yeah, so, right, so we know that yeah, the, um, there were Jewish, like the, 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 the rabbis had on the practice that they could do to cast out a demon. Yeah, right. It wasn't as effective. We get a little. Maybe yeah, we get so, a little hint of right. this. So um, we know like, that the Transfiguration. Um, there Jesus, were Jewish um, when Jesus like the, comes the, down. The rabbis had yeah, James and John. Um, they bumped into a family that they could do sons and possessed by a demon. Um, and the other disciples are there, and they're like, we weren't able to cast this. Yeah, right, it wasn't as effective. effective. This we kind of little, maybe we get a little hint prayer, of this. Which um, seems to indicate at the transfiguration you know, um, of Jesus. They weren't doing it in um, faith. When Jesus comes down, right, they weren't, they weren't attempting John, to exercise this demon bump into they were family. trying to use some <laughs> other <laughs> techniques of maybe right. demon, this ancient. And the other disciples are there, and they're like, we weren't able to cast this demon out. And Jesus remarks, this kind can only right, be cast right. out with prayer. Right. Which so, seems to indicate... You know, um, they weren't doing it in faith. Well, right, right. Yeah, there's this right. whole. They, were, right. they weren't attempting to exercise. So, so Jesus faith. clearly emphasizing some faith other techniques of maybe necessary thing, right? ancient the rabbinical prophecy. thing that they kind of do or something like that. So it That's like prayer. Thing I like about here right, is right, right. So. Well, right, right. Yeah, there's this whole right attitude of repentance, right? So, so Jesus is clearly emphasizing faith is the necessary thing, right? The trust in the promise, the trust in the promise. Growing up in a small town, the one thing I like about here is it moves, you know, to town to town, or certainly town. Even though he probably didn't want it to be, well, he isn't going to pass on his decision. It wasn't wrong. But the whole understanding all of a sudden you get this. It's been an opportunity to let growing up in a small town in Hall Pass, it didn't come here just for that. Moves, you know, to town to town. Yeah, that's kind of that. Even though he probably didn't want it to be. Yeah, you know, and, and sometimes Jesus welcomes that, and sometimes he doesn't, you know. And um, you kind of have to guess a little bit at his motives for that, because he doesn't tell us. But you think about the, the helium of Jairus' yeah, daughter, right? They go home, Jesus raises Jairus' daughter from the dead, and he tells yeah, them you know, and, and not sometimes tell anybody Jesus about this, welcomes that, and sometimes he doesn't. Work well, you know, and, um, <laughs> right? News about and spread. How can you not? Yes, right, exactly. Yeah, right? Motives, Especially, yeah, you know, they have the mortars there. And you think you know, about everybody, the, everybody in town right, about daughter. this thing. So, right, they go um, home. Jesus so, what's, what's Jesus getting at there? And and clearly, mom and dad, nobody was going to not tell anybody right. about this, but um, evidently, it seems to be that like well. this emphasis on <laughs> right? news right. about and spread. How can you not? Right, exactly. That's right. Especially, you know, they had the mortars there. Yeah, everybody, everybody in town paid less attention about this thing. So, the 
miracles they've so witnessed. So what's, what's Jesus testimony. getting at there? Because clearly to, nobody um, was going to keep what the Messiah has right? come um, to do. Yeah, right? It seems to be like this emphasis on keep your eye on the ball here. Right? The Savior, the message, the gospel. Here comes the, the Son of God. Right? Knowing pay attention to that. Pay less attention to everybody what I did. That's fair. Yeah. 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 Testimony yeah. To Certainly, Jesus is not what the here to be put up on a pedestal. Right? And he lives his life very simply. All right. Good. I think we're off to a good start. We got a good sense of uh, different things. Uh, not what's on you. Kind of just thinking about this. That's fair. Yeah. Um, who yeah. needs to hear yeah. this story? Last Certainly, day. Jesus is not here to be put up on a pedestal, right? And he lives his so life very simply. Take three, four minutes at your table. All right. Good. I think we're off to a good start. We're going to start a sense Person who? of uh, different things. Fill in the blank. Um, not what you want to do. We're kind of just thinking about this. Who needs to hear this story? Uh, who needs to hear this story? Last thing I think it helped. Keep me starting. The person who. So, <laughs> take three, four minutes at your table. See what you can come up with here. Who needs to hear this story? The person who. Boom. Fill in the blank. The person who. Anybody that comes 
comes to onto our campus, well, they obviously know I'm affiliated in some. Fashion. I was thinking about this this morning, so that's one thing. But um, what about when I'm out shopping? What about when I'm? How do we create? create what about opportunities? Like, how do I create share opportunities faith. like that? I was just thinking you know, just different uh, things, and, and just and sometimes people in everyday life. Like I work, wear something, so, or anybody um, that comes onto our campus, do something. Obviously, know, obviously I'm affiliated Christian, in some fashion um, with the church, right? So that's one thing. But, what about when I'm out shopping? What about when I'm they forgiven? Out in the yard? What about that kind of thing? How do I create the opportunities yeah. like that? I was um, just thinking there's like different that. things. And, and sometimes um, people will, will you got to be kind of careful with Christian apparel because or, uh, um, do something. Some of it's getting politicized, Christian, right? It's, um, it's getting equated with certain political viewpoints. Just got to be careful with sure. that. I mean, a shirt with a cross on it, a shirt with a cross on it. Forgiven. Um, when someone yeah. might see, yeah. you know, um, guns, God, family like that on your shirt. Um, <laughs> draw different conclusions you about, you know, because you know, <laughs> then um, a nice little person getting politicized to share Jesus right? with you. It's, right? it's getting equated with certain political viewpoints. I was thinking too, sorry, I mean, um, a shirt with a cross on it, a shirt with a cross I'm not a big um, clerical But guy. someone might see, you know, the clerical, you know, guns, God, um, family, mostly of your shirt. <laughs> draw different conclusions <laughs> about you, you know, than... Um, <laughs> than a nice Lutheran person who just wants to share Jesus. <laughs> I was actually thinking, could I, I wear my baseball hat sorry. backwards and look clerical? Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I shouldn't. <laughs> that um, mostly because it just. But, but I will tell you, when I have worn it, you are just on top. You are on point. As a pastor, <laughs> I was actually thinking, you know, could I wear my baseball hat back with Jen's clerical? And I shouldn't. You just have to be like, that's about it. And that's that's it. And it kind of forces but, me as a Christian to just be like, but I will tell you, when I have you one, aware you are just wearing on you top. You are on point as a Christian as a pastor. You know, I'm portraying it any time. <laughs> now, for me, the clerical sometimes also communicates a request with. You know, a need for ministry, and like you just have to be on things like that. And that's, um, that's I think we're getting kind of forces me as a Christian really to be like, I need to be aware of, 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 you know, of who I am as a Christian because um, when this I'm pastor trained as he wears a clerical <laughs> no. because at the airport, it's really the clerical sometimes also communicates kind of other conversations he has with you know the priest related to conversation at the church and things like that. This is I think we're getting far enough away from that. I've heard really interesting stories. Father former president of Missouri um, State, I think. When this Christ. pastor travels, he wears no clerical because, because, because at the airport, airport it's really interesting. Uh, but he talked about yeah, yeah, being at the airport he has and um, he related yeah, the family 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 rushing up to him. Um, you know, they're just this is uh, you know, on their way Ed, to Ed a Price, funeral. Ed Price, on their way to a funeral. Uh, just father, yeah, they're the president, shadow, right? former president. There's a man of God. What can he do for me? Right? And so he was ready to offer a prayer. But he talked about being at the airport to those people, even though you know family comes rushing up to him. You know, they're just and said, oh, you know, on the way to a man who should know something about Jesus, just, hey, who can help me? Their lives have been shattered, right? There's a man of God. Right? 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 What can he do for me? Or does it make me a target? And then I thought about what offer a bad neighborhood and we're going to shoot you or something like that. And where is the clerical though? Like, you know, they just saw him and said, oh, you know, that is a man who should know something about Jesus and who can help me. All right. Yeah, so or does again, it again, I'm, 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 then I thought I'm about the opportunities. What, what are you some are shooting me or something well, like that? Because I'm wearing a the clerical, they don't like me or something like that. Well, that probably would be so good either. You know how your mind goes at 4.30 in the morning. It doesn't even have to be 4.30. All right. Yeah, so again, I'm, I'm babbling here. Opportunities. What, what are you, where did you have your hand at? I'm working at the art department. To encourage. Good. Good. I think, like, part of this is, you know, finding some way to live an obviously Christian life. How do I do that? How do I do that? Um, Professor Houston shares a story. Okay. Um, talking about opportunities to, to encourage. Is that good? Went to this particular. I think, like, part of this is, you know, finding some way to live an obviously Christian life. How do I fake hairstyle this guy? He just needs to get his hair cut. But he's got a book. Professor um, Houston shares a story. Some topic of Christianity um, that he's going to read while she's cutting his hair. His hair. And um, went to this particular. The fact that he's got a, uh, a Christian barber that he's reading was enough to prompt whatever. 
um, some some stories that he shared with us, and then some interactions uh, that would continue. He's got a book. Every month, every time um, he got a haircut, he would always make sure some topic was haircut by her that he's going to read. You know, she's cutting her hair. Now that they had kind of broken the ice, um, right? That he was a person that she could trust to talk to about that he's religious things. Enough to prompt. Um, um, we'll some kind of stories that he shared with and, me. Um, and, and some interactions that would she would tell him. You know, every he would always tell her his story. So this reminds me of a story from the Bible. This reminds me of a story I heard. Yeah, that's what and, we're practicing you know, here, right? Yeah, now well, that they had kind of broken the ice, this reminds me of a story. That he was a person that she could trust to talk to. And she got to the point where she was starting to tell We kind of built this relationship. And something would happen. And she would tell him. Yeah, I've been always tell her story. story. So this reminds me of a story from the Bible. This reminds me of a story. That's, that's, that's what we're practicing the power here. Of, yeah. of just Why we're learning these stories. So this, this reminds me of a story. Okay. Um, Other people. And she got to the point to where uh, well, well, she was starting to tell well, the stories well, in her life. Well, um, and then something would happen. Right. Yeah, exactly. And uh, she would say, oh, I, bet, I bet Pastor Mark has a story about that. I bet he's got a story about that. Just the power of just bringing these stories into people's lives. Okay, other people who need to hear. And if she says no. What would I have said to the other answer when she gave me last time? Right, yeah, exactly. How are you? Do you? And would you like to know Jesus? Yeah, yeah. All right, other people that you guys thought of. People who, the person who. All right, other people that you guys thought of. The person who? Building a reputation for himself. Okay. Just how his name is just people like us, we just Christians notice and flock. Okay. This is like the beginning of the ministry. You know, you can reflect on that, how you portray yourself. And then he, you know, okay. So I was like, you know, building a reputation for himself. Okay. Just starting his ministry. Yeah. And good. Are beginning to notice yeah. And flock. So I, I okay. took two things oh, out of your answer, yeah. sir. Uh -huh. so okay. maybe, you know, someone new to faith, you know, the people flocking to Jesus. And, um, and then, you know, people like us. You know, that's okay. Your own life and stop seeing your job or, you know. Um, people are learning how to witness. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. Good. How do I how do I live this yeah. Christian life? So I, I, I took two things out of your answer, sir. My faith. Not in a judging way. the people flocking to Jesus. Not in a condemning way. And then, good. judgy way, right? You know, not in a condemnatory way. Good? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Others? Yeah. Yeah. Add that one. Just to save on space here over here. We were talking over here a couple. As an adult, um, when's the last time we had a fever? I thought, oh, man. Mentioned the person. That's it for me. My days. Maybe get the long in years. Right. I'm down to the last there few days. days but in those days, maybe, um, maybe that you was know, kind of a, you know, so, so in that so day, a person, you know, you got a fever. Approaching that, the end of life. life be right. it. Are you facing right. your mortality in that moment? You know, we think of a fever. They can be serious, right? But as an adult, when's the last time we had a fever? I thought, oh, man. What is it for me? My days are hungry. Right. I'm down to the last few days. But in those days, maybe. Maybe that was right. kind of a, you know, so, yeah, so here's a person um, maybe two more approaching the end of life. So this right? might help with someone that may well, not be interested right? in Jesus and stuff, but they are open to spirituality, like they see like most of the stuff, spell like they see something exist, so you could be like, hey, Jesus uh, exercised your right. and started talking about it. Any others? Uh, uh, like two more here. So, so, right? so this so might help with someone that may not, I mean, they didn't go away, right? Okay. Yeah. Person.
person who's kind of a little bit open-minded about the spiritual realm. Yeah, okay. Just gonna be, yeah, always got to exercise caution in that because the occult can be very, you know, deceptively attracting. Huh? I was interested in what you said before about the disciple. Okay. Yeah, the person who's kind of a little bit open-minded about the spiritual realm. Yeah. Just gonna be, yeah, always got to exercise caution in that because the occult can be very, you know, deceptively attracting. Uh, I was interested in what you said before about um, disciple talking to Jesus. We have well, take for instance, all trying to cast out the demons for the reason work. Right? Oh, yeah. And Jesus okay. said, uh, "There's no prayer because uh, well, he's Jesus just said doing the power of God. <coughs> uh, the power of uh, whatever that means. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, God heals." We have, well, take for instance all the movies. But like here, that this that idea of the hero driving out demons okay. is wonderful. There's no thing. prayer for uh, that person. He's just doing the power and of God. What's really working here? Is mm -hmm. it the healer? Uh, whatever God that means. Prayer? Right. Was there yeah. Yeah. yeah, God heals. Through prayer. But, what's the healer? but here, this idea of so the that healer. whole concept of the power is wonderful thing. Yeah, right. It goes, for that. it goes back to prayer. Without that, yeah, what's really working here? Is mm -hmm. it a healer? Uh, a ceremony? Is it a so, prayer? Um, so I'm kind of seeing two, two things, things here. Something? You've got um, what? The, the person the who is a healer. Process. You know, let's call them So that doctor, whole concept of the trait, power right? of healing. Yeah, um, right. And it, goes, it goes back to part prayer. Of, without that. Part of the work is, is a physical thing. Uh, a ceremony. But for the believer, so right. um, so I'm kind of seeing there's, the, there's two the spiritual things elements. You've got to all of this too. The, the person so, who is a healer, um, maybe you know, to take yours, just a little bit in the medical trade, right? right? I don't know. Um, and part of for the the, the Christian the work is, who's involved is in the health physical thing. Um, but for the believer, right, right? They're involved in healthcare. There's, there's, a, some there's a spiritual right? element um, to so see all of this too. What a so. What a um, privilege they have to join Jesus in the healing ministry. Different, maybe, right? right? And, um, and to, to do it in prayer. Right? For the, to, the, the to Christian on, who's in God's in the power, healthcare not on man's power, but see, um, um, right there see how God's power is at work right? through um, to us. See which is what, what, a, think about, right? what a privilege they so, have to join um, Jesus in the I'm not sure that's exactly where you're going, but you made me think of that while you were talking about uh, the healing process rely on, on both God's a physical power, thing and a, a spiritual thing. See as well. Um, um, see how God's power is at work too, right? through us, which is kind of neat to think about, right? A healer. So um, I'm not sure if that's exactly where you're going, but maybe made me think of that. Broaden that out, right? You're not just a physical healer, but a um, spiritual healing process. Somebody who is both a physical thing oh, and a, a compassionate ear as well that needs to see that that Jesus was like that, that too, right? Yeah. A healer. Good. All right. And maybe, you know, let's grab our next question. Broaden that out, right? Not just uh, a physical So, how does this uh, confront us here? So, you kind of see, oh, you know, all of these here. Who needs to hear this message? Needs to see the, 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 the does that Jesus lead us to some confession? Right? So, let's take two minutes. Two minutes only. Sins to confess. Good. Talk about all right. it at your table. Let's grab our next question here. Um, so, how does this uh, confront us here? So, you kind of see, you know, all of these here. Who needs to hear this message? Da, 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 da. Does that lead us to some confession? So, let's take two minutes. Two minutes only. Sins to confess here. Talk about it at your table.
not long enough, I apologize.
you know, human tolerance, right? Yes. Kind of, so, right? That's always an extreme, right? I must not only accept what the person does, but I must defend. It's a shame that the word business is actually not, then that becomes like, well, wait, no, that's that's really actually not helpful for that person's spirit. Yeah, the business I'm in. Busyness. What did uh, um, what did Scrooge's business partner tell him? Right. It's a shame that the word business is actually busy. They change the eye, so it doesn't look as convicting. Christmas Carol people. You don't watch that religiously every year. No. We're too, we're too busy to watch it. Too busy. <laughs> Hey, I'll just make a plug. Patrick, Patrick Stewart's depiction of the Christmas Carol is right up there. Christmas Well, I mean, there's a <laughs>
And in all fairness, and in all fairness to the humanity of Christ, too, he will take some time off, right? He'll go off by himself, right, to distant places, to lonely places, to pray, to meditate. Right? So <laughs> Jesus also gives us a, a reminder, right, that if ministry can't always be go, go, go all the time because you'll kill yourself doing it. And in all fairness, Jesus redeems us from that. And in all fairness to the humanity of Christ, too, he will take some time off. Okay, too. He'll go off by himself, right, to distant places, to lonely places, to pray. So, uh, love it. Love it. So, yeah, anything else? Jesus also gives us a, a reminder, right, that if ministry can't always be go, go, go all the time because you'll kill yourself. Jesus saving us here? And so Jesus redeems us from that, too, by going and resting once in a while. So that's okay, too, dear child of God. So this is thing on the... The yeah. demon side so, of things. Uh, like. Love it. Love it. Yeah, anything else? He's not letting the demons talk. Out there? How does Jesus say right. He doesn't want false teaching. How does Jesus, Jesus say saves us here. by uh, uh, protecting us from false teaching? Yeah. But in the Luke code, it says the demons come crying out, oh, you are the son of God. Anything on so the, the demon side right. of things? I think so. Like, like, did they start with rebukes then? He's not or letting the demons he was, like, talk. He could hear it. Like, oh, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah, false yeah. teaching. Yeah. So Jesus saves us by, by yeah right yeah he's uh, right yeah, good question again um, probably I'm thinking about this here so you, you, can um, so you can mention something and you can talk about it or he just like he could right. hear it but yeah, like, oh that's interesting wax yeah elephant. yeah the rumors we can let you do that or you can say burrs yeah, are right yeah, thank you for that right. fair question right again don't let him talk about it. <laughs> right, so I think I think maybe there's that that aspect. Mention something, and you can talk about something. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I've seen the scores. I've seen the sports fans checking their phones during the show. So That's all right. Jesus is watching. Right, so I think I think maybe there's that that aspect going on. <laughs> Well, don't worry. I've seen the I've seen the sports fans checking their phones during the sermon. So I know where you are. That's all right. Jesus is watching. That reminds you of the sermon. You weary Christian, weary. You burned your candle a little bit trying to serve everybody. All right. Very good. All right. Still don't think you've done stuff here. Yeah, we think about these stories, and it's always everybody. Here's all these people. Here's all these people. That reminds you of the story. Do it right. You know, wow. you Thank weary you. Christian, that, weary, yeah, you've you burned your candle of both of trying to serve everybody in your life, that story. you know, and you um, still don't think you've done enough, hey, that reminds me of the time Jesus served All right. everybody in the town, yeah. and he did I'll that think. for That's you, use our faith, not have because you can't you know, do it all. Thank you. That diverse the rich man and to the soul. So you get to share that story in um, that way. What a, what a wonderful thing to do for someone. All right. Hey, if someone were to rise from the dead, that's not use of the and not have you know yeah, uh, interesting connection, right? Yeah, yeah. To the law and to the prophets, if they do not speak according to this testimony, they have the light of God. Yeah, the word, the word, the word. All right, let us close in prayer. Gracious God, thank you for this time in your word of Jesus. Thank you for being our perfect substitute for doing everything we yeah. We uh, interesting connection, right? Yeah. yeah. Try to do yeah, to the law and to the prophets, if they do not speak according to this testimony, they have the light of God. Yeah, the word, the word, the word. all perfectly in our place. All right, let us close with prayer. To, to your father, Gracious God, thank you for this time. Place, in your word of Jesus, thank you so that for being our everything you substitute did. for doing everything God, we, God we can't that do everything we, we try we to do, but faith, don't do it well enough. What, what it gives the things love, that we kill ourselves trying, trying to do, but still help us to trust in you. You did it all perfectly in our place, and you present yourself to your father in our place as our substitute. Everything you did, keep doing this. Remember, Jesus is not married. It's okay, I said he. Now we fixed it. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.